In the wilds of North America and parts of Africa and Asia, you may find yourself face to face with a mighty beast that goes by two names, bison and buffalo. These heavyweights are often confused, not just by the casual observer, but even in popular culture. But fear not, dear nature lover, we're here to clear up this wild confusion once and for all. Bison and buffalo might look alike at first glance, but they are far from the same. Bison versus buffalo. In the wilds of North America and parts of Africa and Asia, you may find yourself face to face with a mighty beast that goes by two names, bison and buffalo. These heavyweights are often confused, not just by the casual observer, but even in popular culture. But fear not, dear nature lover, we're here to clear up this wild confusion once and for all. Bison and buffalo might look alike at first glance, but they are far from the same. Let's start by unpacking the names. First of all, the word buffalo is a bit of a misnomer when it comes to the North American plains. North American bison, which are the massive beasts often associated with the Wild West, have been mistakenly called buffalo since European settlers first arrived on the continent. The term buffalo came from early explorers and settlers who had seen the buffalo in Africa and Asia, so they slapped the same name on bison without much thought. A simple mix-up, perhaps, but it stuck. Now to the real question, what's the difference? Let's kick things off with the bison, the true North American giant. When you think of an iconic wild animal of the American West, it's probably a bison that comes to mind. These stocky, muscular creatures roam the Great Plains and parts of Canada, where they once formed massive herds. One of the most striking features of a bison is the large hump on its shoulders, made up of muscle and supported by a thick, sturdy backbone. This hump is essential for bison in their native environment helping them push through deep snow during the brutal winters. They use their powerful shoulders to dig through snow to find food, like grasses and shrubs. Bison also have thick fur, especially around their heads, necks, and shoulders. Their massive heads, crowned with thick horns, give them a look of brute strength and determination. And their horns, they're short, and curved, adding to their menacing aura. Now, let's jet set across the globe to meet the buffalo, true masters of the savannah and Asian grasslands. Buffaloes are larger and more social than bison, and while bison are solitary or travel in small groups, buffalo tend to form much larger herds. These animals roam the African plains and parts of Southeast Asia living in climates that range from hot, dry savannas to marshy riverbanks. The African buffalo is perhaps the most famous of the buffalo family, known for its immense strength and unpredictable nature. These animals are not to be trifled with. They have large curved horns that span wide across their heads and are often fused together at the base, creating a helmet that's not just a visual signature, but a defense mechanism. If you ever find yourself in a precarious situation with a herd of buffalo, it's probably best to back away slowly, as they're known to be highly protective of one another and aggressive when threatened. Meanwhile, the water buffalo of Asia is a more domesticated cousin, but still shares a lot of characteristics with its wild relatives. With their long, graceful horns and penchant for hanging out 
in muddy water. Water buffalo are often seen wallowing to stay cool in the hot climates they inhabit. Here's where the two animals differ quite drastically. Bison are typically found in North America, with the majority living in the United States, particularly in national parks like Yellowstone. The bison's natural habitat is the grasslands and plains, but they are also found in areas with harsh winters. In contrast, buffalo are found in very different locales. The African buffalo roams across the vast savannas and woodlands of sub-Saharan Africa, while the water buffalo is native to parts of Asia, from India to China, and is often found in wetlands and rice paddies. While both bison and buffalo can be formidable creatures, their social behaviors are quite different. Bison, despite their large size, tend to be more solitary or form small groups, often separated by gender or age. Male bison, known as bulls, generally prefer to hang out alone, only mingling with females during the breeding season. On the other hand, buffalo are more socially inclined. African buffalo live in large, tight-knit herds that can range from 50 to over 500 individuals, and they're known for their cooperative behavior. The herd is a solid unit. Adults take turns watching out for predators, while the young ones are kept safe in the center. Water buffalo are also social, but their herds are often smaller and centered around agricultural practices. Size-wise, bison and buffalo can be fairly similar, but the buffalo might take the edge in pure strength. African buffaloes, with their dense bodies and heavy horns, are notoriously tough. They can weigh up to 1,000 pounds, and their horns are formidable enough to fend off predators like lions or even crocodiles. Bison, however, are still no slouches in the strength department. They can weigh up to 2,000 pounds and run at speeds of 35 miles per hour. Their powerful frame and thick fur make them resilient to the elements and quite capable of fending off predators, even wolves, when they were once more common in the plains. So, bison and buffalo are both massive, resilient creatures, but they come from different worlds with distinct physical features, habitats, and behaviors. Whether it's the bison's wild, rugged presence in North America or the buffalo's tough social demeanor on the African plains and Asian wetlands, these animals are the undisputed heavyweights of their respective realms. Now, it's time to see how much you've learned from today's episode. We've got three fun trivia questions coming up. Ready? Let's start. Question one. What is the primary physical feature that distinguishes a bison from a buffalo? The correct answer is B, large shoulder hump. Bison are known for their distinctive shoulder hump, made of muscle and helping them survive harsh winters, while buffalo lack this feature. Question two, where are African buffalo primarily found? The correct answer is C, Sub-Saharan Africa. African buffalo are native to the savannas and woodlands of sub-Saharan Africa, where they live in large social herds. Question three, which of the following statements about bison and buffalo is true? The correct answer is C. Bison have a thick, woolly coat, whereas buffalo have a sleeker, less dense coat. Bison 
especially those living in North America, have thick fur that helps them survive cold winters. Their woolly coats keep them warm in snowy environments. Buffalo, on the other hand, are typically found in warmer climates, such as the African savannas and Asian wetlands. Great job if you got all three questions correct. If you missed any, don't worry. You've just learned some fascinating facts about bison and buffalo. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution.